Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. In today's video, we're going over a project called Dforum. Dforum is the first attempt I've seen at merging VR with a completely dynamically generated environment uh, generated with stable diffusion. So what's interesting with this is it's merging um, VR and some of the applications we've seen of stable diffusion in Unreal Engine and a few other game engines. Um, along with a room that, that's been continually generated. So what's interesting is this is not a static nerf that's been created. I'm not sure of the specifics, and I, I want to dig into their GitHub to see maybe a bit more of how they're doing this. But, uh, but yeah, this is all happening in real time. Um, this is a prompt that's been provided to generate this room. And the initial results are pretty incredible. Uh, and you can actually mess around with this right now. So you can go to their project here. Um, you can run this in a collab, as nuts as that is. Uh, their code's at GitHub, and then most of their back and forth and their updates happen on their Discord. So Dforum as in a group of people working on this is also pretty interesting because they describe themselves as a community of AI image synthesis developers, enthusiasts, and artists. We have created a notebook using stable diffusion and continue to improve its functionality daily. It's free and it's amazing and you can use it to make cool stuff with AI. So what's interesting is, is Dforum is not, uh, it, it didn't start with the VR stuff. Like they're mostly known now from their work with VR because they were the first to do it. Uh, but Dforum 0.4 is something that, that already exists. And it's basically uh, a suite of AI generative tools that's meant to be uh, kind of like a white label um, Gradio. So we all, we all know that Gradio is fine and there, there are a few other front ends as well, but they're definitely rough around the edges and not by any means polished, I would say. Uh, a really great resource for following Dforum is following Scotty Fox at Scotty Fox TTV. Uh, he is a developer that initially came up with a lot of this. And uh, yeah, so this is the same video that was on Reddit. And um, yeah, so this is where, I guess he mentions that he came up with it. Um, well, I mean, this is, it's been released at this point, but this is the first kind of working prototype. The thing that I think is notable is right now, every demo I've seen has a fixed perspective. Um, and I'm not sure if the environment they're looking at is represented as a nerf. So it'll be very interesting to see, again, like I said, uh, sort of a little bit more detail on how this implementation works. Um, from what I can tell, this doesn't look fake though. Like I, I believe, I don't have a VR headset. Uh, VR makes me sick for better or for worse. And uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that uh, I can relive my biggest nightmare. Uh, and this is the first time I did anything with VR, which was uh, when I put my friend's Oculus on. And um, yeah, I fell asleep with it on because it was like two in the morning I was in college and we've been up working on pro like problem sets for a while. And I fell asleep with it on while I was in um, a virtual movie theater demo. It was one of the first things you, you could get on Steam for it that was free. And uh, I remember waking up in it, not realizing I still had the, the VR headset on, looking around, waking up in an empty movie theater, and then... Uh, <laughs> having my friend tap me on the shoulder, turning around and not seeing anyone, and then freaking out for a solid three, three or four seconds, and then acknowledging that maybe VR wasn't for me. Um, so yeah, so this is another post Scotty made yesterday. Uh, it's a bit more of a complex outdoor space with more dynamic lighting. That's pretty cool. And there's a little bit of perspective change. It's hard to tell if that's a field of view change or if the subject is actually walking back and forth. But this is one of the projects I've seen that pushes the most boundaries all in one package. So it's not static, it's it's changing consistently as you walk around, which is kind of mind bending. Um, I wonder if they're creating this effect with a form of selective in painting. Basically like if you walk a certain direction that you repaint that direction. I have no idea, I, I don't do much game design stuff. Um, there are some people who've contacted me through this channel who um, do like their game de developers and game designers. So maybe they'll have some curious um, 
comments on this? Okay, so interesting. So they have their own fork of stable diffusion. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. So I'm gonna dig into this a bit more, guys, and uh, get back to you all. I wonder, let's just see here. K diffusion, shows. interesting. All right, well, we'll dig, in this, dig into this a bit more. Um, I just wanted to get a video up for you guys about this. And I hope you have uh, a good rest of your day and I hope you learned something.